for them. For the West Sports Malaysia Dragons, I think one of the keys will be to start yes. out. So if he can connect consistently, that's going to force Watkins outside the paint and open up the lane for the penetration of Winston Shepard. And the visitors get the first possession. West Sports Malaysia Dragons. They average about 36%, third best in the league. Wow. But in their last loss against the Singapore Slingers, only managed six three-pointers in that game. As not shown by the wards of uh, Brian Rousem. However, there's a pick by Eversley. And into the front court, sidestepping and getting it to go. Wow. That's six unanswered. A little tentative putting the ball on the floor, attacking Esho off the dribble. Drive by uh, Jawato and a great feed going over to Daryl Watkins. And Wong Wei Long, they put a lot of pressure on the perimeter of opposing teams. Drive by Esho, and he gets it to go. The Maxi Esho. of the Knights up to task there. Here's Esho, Wong Wei Long, catch and shoot three, off the glass, how about that? Wong off the glass, and the rebound cleared by Jawato. Nobody there to get the second chance opportunity as Jawato. Oh, sudden burst of speed there, Marco. The Dragons trying to get it back. Shepard, Egwu, Chin using the screen. Chin puts it up, it's good. And look how Darren Watkins is cheating Chin to hit that 17-footer. Uh, and again, the local support for the West Sports Malaysia Dragons will also be very key in this game as Esho hits it from downtown. And that's a beautiful play there. The shoot, and here's a pick coming from Shepard. Shepard attacks. Shepard out to low she Fai, low for three, good! That's a big shot there, stopping the go down here this season, especially with, with the addition of Wong Wei Long together yeah. with Doug Herring. So it's been mostly a two-point guard backcourt as Nana Egu hits that sweeping. Oh, and Eversley. Can't knock it down, and they're still struggling from the outside, the Dragons are. And Winston Shepard has had a difficult time attacking the basket. Good thing Chris Eversley continues. Great defense that time by Daryl Watkins as we open the second quarter. Out of Hideyat sees an opening, great pass inside, and Daryl Watkins scores. And that's going to be another a matter of getting used to because both teams are actually playing, facing the same type of conditions, right. but it's just that the Knights are more used to this type of yep. setup. Herring tries to thread the needle. That's taken away again by the defense of the Dragons. And this is what is keeping the Dragons in this game. First, first attack, first, first point. Lead. That was a line drive miss there by Kurniao on offense. Nothing much happening on that sequence for the Knights. And here's Winston Shepard getting away again. And they still have a lot. That, that is correct. And, you know, for the Dragons, it's been an up and down season for them, especially coming off four straight losses. Oh! <laughs> The greatest three portion for Maxi Esho. And I like what they did on defense there on the initial uh, setup by Westport. They blitzed Shepard on that ball screen as Maxi Esho hits another three. For Nana Egwu in the post, they want the clear out. Egwu working one on one now. And they send it around. Three pointer is good once again. Boy, the shooting here in the second. Still a close one. But the Knights hanging on to a two point lead. Esho. Putting on the moves and gets the reverse. So difficult whenever Maxi Asher gets it. That's right. For world MVP, and there's a turnover, an unforced one. Nana Egwu passing to nobody as Doug Herring finishes. And what a finish there for Doug Herring against the five. I would think they would, they would be able to match up with any of the starting fives among the top teams. As Daryl Watkins uses the left hand to finish, and Nana Egwu minutes to go, and another turnover. Jawato gives it up to Herring early, and Herring can't finish with a tip in. It's there for Maxi Esho. Herring looking for the foul. Herring got a clear recipient to pass to, and these turnovers have resulted in 14 turnover points for the CLS Knights. This is a nine zip run, finally laid to rest that time by Chris. Down low, quickly attacks and scores inside. Herring putting it on the floor, zigzagging, pulls up from 14 and nails it. That's a great crossover dribble there. In Cross court pass, long way long. Wong Wei Long on the pull-up, quick release, bothered by the defense. And how about Maxi Esho at the right place at the right time? First action of the game, this is Mo Saroni. First sign of action for Saroni is one of the enforcers. Uh -oh. Wow, that was just Nana Egwu using his a minute remain. Shepard pushing it up. Loshi five, pulls the brakes. Egwu for three, good! And he's actually, I believe, second. Jawato getting the screen. Wong Wei Long all day to shoot, and the Long Ranger delivers again. And you know, Knights. 
Good ball movement here, finding the wide open Yek, and that set shot three is so effective. And again, you mentioned that. Five rebounds in the loss against Mono Vampire. Harry, oh, but great pass on the pick and roll, and a finish once again. Jawanto on the fall away. How about Doug Herring yeah. coming away with it? Esho for three, good! And again, second chance opportunity. Offline. And you yeah. know, you're right, Noel, Winston Shepard, very passive here in the third quarter. And Jawato is anything but for the CLS Knights. And this matchup now, working the post, left-handed shot, won't work. Outlet pass with under a minute to go, and Chris Eversley on the finish. One of the few fast break points, a four-point game. They are winning this third quarter. Dog Herring is such a genius at drawing fouls. And he'll get a three-point play opportunity. And yeah, if this low-scoring affair continues, it usually favors the West Sports Malaysia Dragons. Wong Wei Long has something to say about that. Again, uh, in the likes of a Wong Wei Long, as Eversley has struggled from the field. Well, Yek has hit three of them. Staying with it. It's Darrell Watkins. And with four a precarious lead despite it being double digits at 11. Watkins inside. Three. And you know, Noel, the problem was in and out for one way long. Eversley's also been a little bit more passive than normal here, but attacks and gets it to go. 16 point. Knights really wasting time. Esho. That could be big. Uh, that's just a display of athleticism there in the point. As Nana Egwu sits this game out for good after picking up foul number five. And as the CLS Knights have done for most of the season since they made the run, they've done it by committee. Yeah. You have four players in double figures led by Max Yesho with 21. Jawato has 11. Wong Wei Long has 14, including three, four triples. He's four of nine all down. Herring. Will make his move now with nine seconds remaining on the shot clock. Nobody there. Nana Egwu is gone. Jawato, under a minute to go. Esho, Tiger. Maxi Esho. And with under 20 seconds to go, final score is all we're waiting for here. They let Eversley scoot in. And they're possibly also going to go up to number four spot in terms of the number of wins as Macau and Saigon all only have 11 wins to their to their record. Wang Wei Long gets pressured, but they're not gonna put it up anymore. That's what is after the buzzer. So our final score is 73 to 60. Emphatic